Okay, today we're going to look at section 3.1. We're going to talk about quadratic functions and models. A quadratic function is a function of the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a does not equal zero. The graph of a quadratic function is a parabola that either opens up if it is positive or opens down if it is negative. The vertex is either the maximum point or the minimum point of the parabola. The axis is the vertical line of symmetry that passes through the vertex. And the vertex can be found by the formula. The x component equals negative b over 2a. And the y component is, of course, f of negative b over 2a. So the axis is the line x equals negative b over 2a. So we start with that f of x equal 2x squared plus 7x minus 3. Find the vertex and the axis of the graph. So to find the vertex, we need to know what negative, negative b over 2a is. So we're looking for negative b over 2a, which is negative 7 over 2 times negative 2. Is negative 7 over negative 4 or 7 4. So that is our x component. And the line x equals 7 4 is our axis. Now to find out the y component, we simply replace, we find f of 7 4. Negative 2 times 7 fourths squared plus 7 times 7 fourths minus 3. So this is negative 2 times 49 sixteenths plus 49 fourths minus 3. So continuing on, we have negative 98 over 16. This becomes plus 196 over 16 minus 48 over 16. So we have fifty over sixteen. So our point is seven fourths fifty over sixteen. And this is our axis. And this is a negative, so it's going to open down. So that would make this a maximum. Oh, so we're going to graph the function. So we're looking for x equals 7 fourths. Should be right here. And y is a little over 3. OK, when x equals 0, y equals negative 3. So here's our vertex here, 0, negative 3. So we're looking at something like this. Our domain, our x values, our domain, well, this goes on forever. This goes on negative infinity to positive infinity. Our range, our minimum value is down here at negative infinity. Our maximum value is here where y equals 50 sixteenths. And that is our domain and range. OK, so we can also write a ver the vertex form of a quadratic function. Any quadratic function, f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, can be written in the vertex form, which is f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k, where the vertex is hk 
and the axis is x equals h. When the equation is given a vertex form, we can use transformations to graph the functions. Or we can simply say our vertex is 3, 5. 3, 5. We're positive, so we're opening up. The domain, this domain is going to be all reals, right? And our range is 5 to infinity because our vertex here is a minimum. Okay, find the vertex. Well, the vertex is, now this is plus and it's minus h, so that's negative 2, negative 9. That's the vertex. The axis, of course, x equals negative 2. The x-intercept would be when y is equal to 0, or f of x is equal to 0. So we set this equal to 0. 0 <coughs> equals x plus 2 squared minus 9. Add 9 to both sides. So we get 9 equals x plus 2 squared. Take the square root of both sides. I have plus or minus 3 equals x plus 2. Subtract 2. So I have plus 3 minus 2 equals 1. My minus 3 minus 2 equals negative 5. So those are my x-intercepts. 1, 0, and negative 5, 0. The y-intercept, well, that's when x is equal to 0. So when x is equal to 0, f of 0 equals 0 plus 2 squared minus 9. This is 2 squared, which is 4 minus 9, which is negative 5. So we have 0, negative 5. Now, using this information, So we have a vertex at negative 2, negative 9 up here. Oops, negative 9 down here. We have a y-intercept at 0, negative 5. We have an x-intercept at 1 and negative 5. So that is what we're looking at. Our domain, again, it goes all the way this way. It goes all the way that way. So domain is negative infinity to infinity. Range, well, our lowest point is here. Our vertex is a minimum. So that's negative 9 to infinity. Okay, let's try this again. So the vertex. I have minus 5, so it's 5 minus 4. The axis is x equals 5. The x-intercepts. So we set x minus 5 squared minus 4 equals 0. x minus 5 squared equals 4. x minus 5 equals plus or minus 2. Adding 5, I get x equals 5 plus or minus 2 which is 7 or 3. Y-intercept, I said x equal to 0. I have f of 0 equals 0 minus 5 squared minus 4. So negative 5 squared is 25 minus 4 is 21. So there's my y-intercept. And my x-intercepts are 7, 0, and 3, 0. Now graph the equation. So what are we looking at? I have a vertex at 5, negative 4. 
Five negative four, about right here. Okay. I have an x intercept at seven and at three. And I have a y intercept at 21. So kind of crooked. So my Five negative four. This is five negative four. That's my vertex. So my domain again is negative infinity to infinity. And my range, my minimum, I have a minimum, is negative four to infinity. Okay, so now we're going to look at this as far as modeling. Total and Annual revenue for a product is given by R of X equals 10,000 X minus 2X squared dollar, where X is the number of units sold. To maximize revenue, how many units must be sold? Okay, so let's rewrite this as R of X equals negative 2X squared plus 10,000. X. So now I have a parabola opening down. So that means my vertex is going to be my maximum. So I just need to find my vertex. Negative B over 2 times A. So negative B is negative 10,000 over 2 times negative 2, negative 10,000 over negative four, which is 2,500 units. What's the revenue? Well, if that's the maximum, if that's the amount of units we sell to maximize the revenue, well, we take R of 2,500 units is equal to 10,000. Not 100,000, 10,000 times 250 or 2,500 minus 2 times 2,500 squared. So we take ten thousand times two thousand five hundred. We get a whole lot. Twenty five million minus two times two thousand five hundred squared, which is twelve million five hundred thousand. So we have twelve million five hundred thousand dollars. So we sell twenty five hundred union, we get twelve and a half million dollars. Okay, so that's all we have here. If you have any questions, again, do feel free to email me and have a good day.